Hello YouTube, Michael Hannum here. We're a few days into the Theme Chronicle event and I wanted to do a quick update video about the deck that I previously showed on YouTube for this event. If you haven't checked out that video yet, I'll put a link down in the description. In that video, I showed off the Gladiator Beast Cry Brigade deck that I intended to use in the Theme Chronicle event once the event began. Now that it has started, I just want to give a quick update about how the deck performed, any changes I made to the deck, and show replays of some of the duels I had during the festival. Overall, the deck performed very well. I had well over a 50% win ratio, and just a few days into the event, I already have 11,000 medals, which is half of the total number of medals you need to get all of the rewards, and there's still over a week left in the event. The deck typically took wins quickly too, which is advantageous for this type of festival, where it really counts the number of duels you play and the number of wins you attain, rather than uh, losses holding you back, since losses award medals too, but fewer num a fewer number of medals, and quick wins can quickly rack up medals. Since this deck wasn't really too dissimilar from the uh, Tri Brigade Glider Beast deck that you would use in the Master Duel Advanced format, I had a pretty strong concept of what, how the deck was going to function and what it does, so I really didn't need to make too many changes since my uh, pre-event draft of the deck. In fact, I think I actually only made one change in total. Here's the deck that I used. The only change that I think I made from my draft of the deck beforehand was adding in a second copy of Glyrabis Domitianus, uh, which very early on in the event I realized I definitely needed two copies of, uh, because it was fairly common that you would summon two in a single turn, or one would be destroyed, you'd have no way to resurrect it because it wasn't properly summoned, since it was summoned by the effective Tamer Editor, and you would desperately need that second copy. Um, I don't know what I was thinking only using one copy in the original version of the deck, two is a no-brainer. The more complicated question is which card to take out. Uh, I took out Salomon Great Almirage, which eliminates the possibility of just normal summoning Nervel or Kit, and immediately sending it to the graveyard to summon Almirage, triggering its effect. So that is a minor loss to the deck, but I think that uh, using the second Domitianus is a stronger way to go. The only other option for a card that I would consider cutting is Glyrabis Esadari because of how infrequently it came up. Generally, you'll either go straight into Andabada, special summoning a Geyseris so that you can go into Tamer Editor, or just go straight into Tamer Editor, so it's rare that Esadari comes up, but once in a while you will want to some send it to the graveyard with Adarix to copy its level and use that level to summon Tamer Editor. So it's up to you whether you want to cut Almirage or uh, Gl Al Glyre Beast Esadari, but I would definitely cut one of those two for Glyre Beast Domitianus if this is the deck that you're going to build. Overall, it played similarly to what I ex with the way I expected, but it actually ended up playing even better than I had initially thought it would. Uh, one thing that surprised me, which I will show you in the replays, is how often it comes up that you actually want to use the effect of one of your Tri Brigade monsters to summon Glyrabeast Dragaces on your first turn, even though it can't attack or tag, just for it to be a body for you to send back to the deck with the effect of Test Panther to tag in a different Glider Beast. Uh, it's shocking how often that comes up, but the fact that you can special summon this without using a normal summon, since you could summon it by the effect of Karas after special summoning Karas, uh, actually opens up a lot of plays that let you summon some of your strongest Glider Beast fusion monsters, even when you didn't draw the Glyre Beast part of your deck or didn't draw particularly well on the Glyre Beast side of your deck. Uh, so I'll explain that in more detail as I go through some of the replays that I saved that involve those plays. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and it greatly encourages me to make more videos about Glider Beasts and other decks that I enjoy for future festivals in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I'll also put a link down below to some of the guides that I created for different variants of Gladiator Beast decks in case you want to check those out. Uh, I give a pretty detailed explanation with replays, which I think will be uh, great if you're trying to learn the deck. So let's jump into that first duel. 
Keep in mind that your goal with this deck going first is to set up a bunch of negations in the form of Glarabeast Domitianus, Glarabeast Heraclinos, and Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. If you're going second, your goal is to initiate some tag outs so you can tag in Glarabeast from your deck and take advantage of their effects. Uh, note that my opening hand in this duel contains only one Glarabeast, and it's Augustus. But look how much I can do in spite of that. I summon the Rescue Cat since I play Sam Knight in my deck. I special summon Sam Knight with Kit. I link them together, since Test Panther only requires one Glare Beast monster plus another monster. Uh, I use the effects of both Panther and Kit. Kit sends Nerval to the grave, which is going to get me a Tri Brigade monster. Panther adds comeback to my hand. Uh, I search for Keras, and then I'm able to special summon Keras from my hand uh, by discarding one of my other Tri Brigade monsters. I use Karras' effect to special summon Dragases, which is really just a Glarabeast body since it's the first turn of the duel, but then I can tag that out using Panther's effect to summon Augustus. Augustus' effect summons another Augustus from my hand, and then I can summon Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor brings out my Adamitianus, which now can negate a monster effect, and I link the rest of my monsters together to summon Appaloosa. Appaloosa can now negate three monster effects, Domitianus can negate one monster effect, and destroy that card. I use Comeback to Special Summon Tamer Editor, and then Tamer Editor's effect to Special Summon Glarabeast Heraclinos. So look at my field. I have three monster effect negations in the form of Appaloosa, one in the form of Domitianus, and two Spelling Trap card negations in the form of Heraclinos. He plays his B-Trooper uh, Field Spell, which I let go because I can only negate two spells with Heraclinos. Summons his B Trooper Scout Buggy, whose effect I negate, since I have four monster effect negations. Uh, he Link Summons his B Trooper Armor Horn. Um, use the effect of Sting Lancer in his hand, which I then negate the activation of with Domitianus. Since I want to destroy the card, I choose to use the Domitianus over the Appaloosa here. He does special summon it back from the grave with his Field Spell, but I still have two monster effect negations left one of which I use on the Seraphim Papillion uh, so that it doesn't get any counters and therefore cannot remove counters to special summon monsters. He ends his turn, and my turn starts back up. So I didn't even have to use Heraclitos' effect. Um, I immediately use Tamer Editor's effect to summon Geyserus and destroy his only two cards. And as you can see, he's finished. So let's dive right into that second duel. Notice again, this duel doesn't actually have any uh, Glare Beasts in my opening hand. I do save this duel because I do open with Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit, and I want to showcase what you can do when you open with both. I use the Rabbit to summon Sam Knight and Kit, which I can then link summon for Farragit. Uh, and then after I summon Farragit, I can use Kit's effect to send Nerval to the grave and Nerval's effect to get another Tri Brigade monster from my deck. The cool thing is you can use Farragit's effect to then special summon Rescue Rabbit from your hand because it can't be special summoned from the deck, but it can be special summoned from your hand. Um, once you use Rescue Rabbit to get two Andals, you can link summon Test Panther by using Farragit and the Andal. And now you have a Glare Beast on the field in the form of Andal, which you can already send back to the deck with the effect of Test Panther. So here I use Panther's effect to search my deck for Adarix and add the Adarix to my hand. I then Special Summon Augustus using Panther. Augustus Special Summons Adarix. Adarix dumps Augustus to copy its level. And here's a Tamer Editor. So I use Tamer Editor to summon Domitianus, and then I special summon a Curas from my hand. Curas' effect uh, banishes two cards from my grave to summon Cross Sheep, which gives me another body for Link summoning Appaloosa. I now have four monster effect negations on the field, and I didn't use my Tamer Editor in the Link summon so that I can use its effect again on the next turn. He has Lightning Storm to virtually clear my field. Um, but because I kept Tamer Editor in defense mode, I'm able to use its effect again to summon Domitianus. On the next turn, I'm able to summon Fractal, special summon Dragases with his effect, and the duel's already over.
like I said, this deck actually takes really quick wins, which is really nice for this style of event where you're really counting your wins and your losses aren't counting against you. Let's dive into the next duel. Typically, when you open with Rescue Cat or Rescue Rabbit, you're going to want to use it on your first turn going first. Uh, in this duel, I open up with the cat, summon it, use its effect, Link Summon Panther, thanks to Sam Knight being part of the special summon off its effect, and then I can use the Panther and the Kit's effect, sending Nerval to the grave, adding Adarix to my hand, and getting Kuras from the deck. I special summon Kuras, and again, I'm just banishing two cards from the grave to make a Dragacy's that's a body to send back with Panther, uh, and then sending back the Dragacy's to summon Augustus. Augustus summons Adarix. I fuse them for Tamer Editor, summon Domitianus, uh, and then I actually link summon Cross Sheep because I have a comeback in my hand, which I can use to summon Tamer Editor, link to the Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep's effect uh, special summons a, car a monster from my grave. I use Tamer Editor's effect to summon Heraclinos, and then I link summon Appaloosa. He gets rid of the Appaloosa using the Kaiju, uh, and then Link summons Crusadia, uh, one of the Crusadia monsters. Link summons Regulus, so he's building big monsters. Um, uh, when he tries to use the effect of his Link monster, I try to destroy it with Domitianus and negate the effect. He protects it with a spell in the grave, uh, but since I get to redirect his attack, I redirect the attack to the Jizukuru who gave me to keep the Heraclinos and the Domitianus alive, and then he uses the Unicorn to get rid of Domitianus. Uh, but on my next turn, I have Nerval, which puts a Dragacy's on the field, and even though I can't actually wipe out all of his life points on this turn, the tagged out Dragacy's is almost certainly going to seal his fate. Uh, I get a quest, and in Darius, Darius brings back Augustus, a quest brings back Comeback, um, and then for whatever reason, I uh, after I fusion summon Andabada, he chains the effect of Nibiru, so Nibiru clears the field, then Andabada resolves to summon Geyserus and destroy the Nibiru. Um, had he not summoned Nibiru there and done it after I summoned Geyserus, I still would have been able to use Comeback to bring back Tamer Editor, so I think I still would have inevitably won. I'm realizing now that it seems most, if not all, of the duels that I saved will have either a cat or a rabbit in it. Um, but you can do a lot of these plays even without cat and rabbit, because you have cards like Unexpected Die to special summon from the deck, where Unexpected Die in a normal summon is basically like summoning rabbit. Um, in this duel, though, I do have the rabbit. I summon the panther. Um, note that I link summon Link Spider first because I drew an Andal which puts an extra body on the field, and that body then can be sent back to the deck with, deck with Test Panther <clears throat> to make the Tamer Editor summon possible and bring out Domitianus. He sets three, and I immediately use Tamer Editor's effect because I really want to get a Heraclinos on the field to secure all of my plays. Uh, he summons one of his Mutant monsters, which I then negate the activation of its effect with uh, Domitianus, and already he loses. So this is the last duel I saved. Again, my hand has a rabbit this time. You will draw a rescue rabbit or a rescue cat pretty frequently. But even when you don't, you have other cards that special summon, uh, including, well, for one... Keras, which can special summon itself, all these cards that get you to Keras, and you have Unexpected Die, so you can really make that <clears throat> two-monster play immediately, most of the time, even if you don't get the Cat or the Rabbit. Uh, but in this duel, I did have the Rabbit, um, so you're seeing some standard plays here. Cross Sheep is often the play um, right before you use Clarabee's Comeback to bring back Tamer Editor, because it gives you that extra body 
uh, to help you make Appaloosa. So you can see in this duel that I ended my turn, first turn with a Heraklinos that can negate two Spiller Crap, well, three Spiller Crap cards, because when I discard Nerval, it gets me another uh, monster to discard with Heraklinos. And uh, four monster effects, three with Appaloosa, one with Domitianus. He uses a uh, spell card, so I, I, I don't think it was particularly relevant there, but I negate it with uh, Heraklinos just because I have so many negations and he just concedes immediately. So that's my deck for the Theme Chronicle event. Like I said, it's well over a 50% win ratio. The deck's doing really well. Take us wins very quickly. If you enjoy Glider Beasts or if you enjoy Tri Brigade, I strongly encourage you to use a deck, this deck or a deck like it in the event. It works, it's powerful, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, again, I please ask that you like it and subscribe to my channel. It encourages, to me, it encourages me to make videos about uh, similar to this one about future Master Duel event, about my favorite deck there is, Gladiator Beasts, as well as other decks that I greatly enjoy playing. Thank you.